Hello and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Allmark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today we're looking at Strong of Heart, which is one of my favourite stamp sets because I love this image here. I have to excuse my blue fingers because I've been doing some work with some blues. And this is just has that lovely sort of variegated look to it. It is in the new mini catalogue which runs till the end of December and it is on page five and it's a Make a Difference stamp set. Now Make a Difference, um, Stamping Up Every Year will do a stamp set where they will donate a portion of it to charity and this is the stamp set this year and for every stamp set that is sold they will donate £2.50 to support heart health. Hence why it's a heart and it's called Strong of Heart. So um, I try and support each one of those because, as I say, I think um, heart health is very important. And, um, yes, it's, it's a stamp set. I will always try and support whatever stamp they bring out. Um, there's this image that you can colour in and make very pretty and feminine. This one you can use for all sorts of things. So that's the image we're going to use today. And I'm also, from Beautiful Moments, going to use the little birds here. So um, that's, what we're, that's what we're going to use. And I thought I would take it through from the beginning of cutting my... cardstock. So I've got a piece of basic white. Let me just get that out. And I will cut it down so I have a quarter of an inch border. Now, our cardstock in the UK is A4 size. So whatever size you work with, cut it down appropriately. I know I can get four pieces out of one piece of cardstock. So I cut mine down to five and a quarter inches so that's literally just less than half and then turn it and cut it at three and a half in fact I'm going to do it the other way because there's a little bend on that piece so let's just turn it round this way um, three and a half inches And then I cut the other one down at three and a half inches. So that's the cutting size that I use. Let's get that straight. And it means as well that I have a strip over which I use for sentiments and things. So that's, as I say, that's what we're using. And I thought I would show you because sometimes people do say, you know, what size card do you use? So this is the piece that we're using. I need a new blade in my trimmer. I've been using it quite a lot. And we are going to use a base of Pacific Point. So I'm just going to get that out. So that's the colour we're using. So the Pacific Point and it gives us a quarter of an inch border on there. Okay, so if you find that you've got little pieces on there, you can just literally just rub them off. And it's purely because I've used my blade a lot and it's due for a change. So I try and keep it for as long as I can. Okay, so we are going to first of all work with this lovely heart. And we're going to create a sea scene. So I'm going to be using Coastal Cabana. I'm going to be using Pacific Point. I'm going to be using Pool Party. And I'm going to be using some So Saffron. Now I have to be careful with So Saffron that I don't mix it with the others. Because otherwise you'll end up with a sort of a greeny colour. But I think we can probably just about work it without. So... I'm taking my stamp on its side because what I want to do is to just literally tap it across the top and have 
just a little bit of the, um, in fact, I've got that completely on the squiff. Let me just try and, that's better, straighten it up a bit. So we have the, um, just the top of it in the So Saffron. Then we're going to take the pool party and I'm going to run the pool party from the bottom all the way up but not going across so I'm leaving a gap because what I don't want to do is to blend this in with the other and give myself the green so if you give a gap it stops you from doing that um, now I'm going to take the Pacific Point and I'm just going to have a little bit of Pacific Point at the bottom so again just coming up probably about to there I think will work okay now we need to take some sponge daubers so I'm keeping the Pacific Point out and I'm going to take the Coastal Cabana which is just slightly different to the um, pool party. I had to think for a minute then. So where we've got this piece at the top, I'm going to take the sponge dauber and I'm going to tap so it comes right up to the line, but I don't want it to go over the top. So I'm just taking it from the side and tapping across. Take your time to do it because you want to have the same sort of ink that's running through. And just as I say, take it across the top. And then you can have just a little bit of the Coastal Cabana in some of the other places as well. Then we're going to take the pool party and again with the sponge daub I'm not inking it up for this bit but I want to blend this in and you can see it is quite dark so I just want to blend it in a little bit in fact I need to clean some of that off because it is a bit too dark because I don't want too much of the ink coming up and then I'm just going to very gently just tap it along the edge but not up into that so saffron so you've got a bit of sort of variegation going on and you've also got um you know a piece sort of in the middle that is that paler blue so then we need to take our piece of cardstock so we'll put that in the middle see where I had a blob I was what seeing where the misty moonlight would work but it was too dark so we're going to set that as near to the center as we can press it down leave it to rest just for a second because we've mixed quite a few colors in here and then lift it up and you can see you've got the darker color through on the outside and you've got the pieces coming through in the middle and you've got that lovely sort of variegated look which I think is really pretty so that's the shape that we're working with and then I have taken from the beautiful moments I've taken the two little birds because I wanted to have some birds flying through this image and make it a, um, a little scene so I've got memento for this and I'm just going to ink up those birds and we're going to have the birds in the top corner inside but just flying so you've got that really nice sort of pretty looking on there and then we need to decide what sentiment we're going to use now I'm making this a simple one layer card so I'm going to um, take from the beautiful moments collect beautiful moments because I thought that that would work nicely with that sort of sea scene that's coming through and I'm going to 
just ink that up with the memento and I could if I wanted to actually set it outside down at the bottom but I want to put it right through in on the center um, just where those two colors are and put it down there so you've got collect beautiful moments in the center and then all we need to do is to take the frame and you've got a really rather simple but very effective just got that's annoying me I've just got a little bit of piece on here now you will find that as the ink dries the colors will get a little bit paler but by keeping that inside piece um, in the pool party and the um, Calypso coral not Calypso coral Coastal Cabana, always get those two muddled up. Um, it means that you've got that, um, you can put the words in there. If you didn't want to do that, you could um, stamp the words and then mount them and then just put them across. But it gives, I think, a very simple, pretty, effective card. And you can do all sorts of scenes. You know, we could do... Um, some pretty oranges and things and make it sort of a sunset one so that's sort of you know the the beachy look to it but as I say variegated up in other colors and um, you know you can make a really pretty scene but I really liked using just the little birds up in the top corner so recap of what we used we used beautiful moments and we used the little birds and we used the sentiment and then we used the and that is in the annual catalogue and it's been carried over because it's so popular. And then we've got the Strong of Heart, which is in the new mini catalogue. And as I say, for everyone that is bought, £2.50 goes to a heart charity. And we've used this image here. So, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching me. As always, please stay safe and well. Please be kind and look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.